Until now, we have talked about the functions many times. But how we can reach them? One way is to use the tree menu on the left hand side at the screen area. First, let's take a closer look at it. Let's imagine that we would like to display a specific sales quotation. How can we reach that function from the menu? Well, SAP classified the sales processes under the node Logistics. Within that, we are interested in the Sales and Distribution module. Within that, the sales processes and then the quotation activities. Here we can see three different functions, one for creating a new quotation and one one for changing and displaying an existing quotation. The next question is how we can execute them. Well, just simply double click on the function and the system executes it in no time. As you can see, we got a different screen that says display quotation initial screen. And we got a different menu up there, a different application toolbar. The system disabled some buttons on the standard toolbar and the screen area is also changed. So we navigate it here using the tree menu. But how can we navigate back? Well, we are already talked about the standard toolbar, but we haven't pushed any button on it yet. So let's do this. We have three navigation buttons. The first one navigates you back to the previous screen. The second one exits from the current function and the third one terminates the current function. Right now we want to simply exit from the current function. So let's push that orange exit button. The workflow is the same if we want to display an existing sales order. We double click on the desired function and the system brings us to a new screen. Now we are in the display sales order function, the menu bar, the title bar, the application toolbar and the screen area is also changed. Finally, pushing the orange exit button brings us back to the main screen again. So far, I mentioned the word functions many times in this course, but the proper name for them would be the transactions. In SAP, we execute transactions, not functions. So from now, on, let's refer to these functions simply as transactions. So to create a new sales order, we have a transaction. To change or display an existing sales order, we have another transactions also. In SAP, each transaction has a unique transaction code associated with that can consist of letters, numbers, or both of them. We enter these transaction codes into the well-known command field. All right, that was about the theory. And now let's see them in practice. Before we could start executing the transactions using the command field, we should know their unique codes. The question is how? It's simple. By default, the transaction codes are disabled in the menu. We can see only their names. To display their technical names as well in the menu, we need to change the settings that we can reach from the menu Extras and within that, the submenu Settings. In the pop up window, we only need to mark a checkbox named display technical names, then we can confirm the changes by pushing the check mark button down below. Now let's see the tree menu again and look for the transaction display a quotation. Here we go. Now we have the transaction codes as well. So we can simply type the transaction code VA23 into the comment field up there and then push the green check mark button on its left or simply press an enter key. As you can see, it has the exact same effect 
as we would double click on the transaction within the tree menu. Now let's exit from this transaction and check what the transaction code is for displaying an existing sales order. Well, it is the VA03. Now let's type it into the command field and execute it by pressing an enter key. It worked again. Besides executing transactions, the command field has another feature, the history. Namely, it keeps a list about the previously executed transactions. We can reach this list by clicking on the downward arrow on its right, then simply choose the transaction that we want to execute again, and press an enter key. Here we go, we executed the display a quotation transaction again. Until now, we executed only one transaction at a time, but in reality, we often execute multiple transactions at the same time. But how this can be achieved? Well, this is what I want to share with you next.